a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushiga Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charm, Sam Medina, and Billionaire Overlord for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simnex Today, Darkness Falls Mod. So I have finally, finally found the way. Still, I've been driving around like crazy. Um, I just waited until morning. It's almost going to hit morning right now to make sure that we're safer here. Basically, I went like northwest, couldn't find anything. I, if I just kept on a little bit, I think I would have found it. Decided to turn back to over here and then go all the way up. Basically, there's too many mountains over here, so I decided just to cut through west. Mountains, mountains, mountains. There's a few of awesome POIs and towns and stuff over here. And then, yeah, we finally found the wasteland. So on the far left. Now, it doesn't seem like there's a road or anything, but there is that gravel path over there. So I'm just going to drive straight through. Hopefully we don't die right now. Um, my bike is full and I'm hungry. So I, unfortunately, if I eat this, we might get food poisoning and then it's the end. But I need space right now as well. Um, what if I can, can't mod one of these one more to be able to take this thing over here? We just need a ton of space right now. I'm going to take one of these pills. It's supposed to work like 15 minutes if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, we're just going to drive straight over. Hopefully I don't get stuck. Because like I said, my bike unfortunately has stuff on. So I won't be able to pick anything up. For those of you new to Darkness Falls, I had to drink anti-radiation pills because this whole area is radiated. And if you look to the bottom left over here, uh, that's 60% radiation protection. Because I have three armor pieces on that protects us from radiation. Temporarily immune to further radiation. There you go. That's the pull I just drank. Okay, so our goal right now is to find Caitlyn. And perhaps buy some stuff from her. She's either going to be on the far left. I actually see stuff in the distance over there. He's either there or right in front of us. And Demon Portal. Two Demon Portals. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Okay, I got some demonic essences just now. The demonic essences are really, really important, but I, I need that one as well. See, with all the demons over here, you need to jump off, quickly destroy that thing. I can destroy it, it seems, with one hit. There's so many of these. Okay, I need to get it, as many of these demonic essences as possible right now, because then we'll either be able to go Nanite, or demonic essences. It all depends on how lucky we are. Uh, you just spawned in. You're gonna vomit. Okay, run, 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 run before more demons hit us. Ooh, there's way too many demons My in the area. Okay, how many do we have? Eight. Ooh, if I just got the other gate as well, we might have actually had enough right now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you need ten. Um, although, wait, 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 we have some at the base. Oh, guys, this POI to the left over here is incredibly dangerous. Look at all these demon gates. Damn. This is the first time ever I've seen this many demon gates all in one go. Yeah, I want to see. I drank some cold drink just now, so now I'm full of gas. That's just an army camp. That's not... Yeah, that's not where we want to be. There you go. Now we have enough. Now I don't have to worry, but what in the hell is this P.I. to the left? Or to the right, I mean. It's insanely huge. It's way bigger than the previous one. We've, uh, there was a time we actually uh, encountered one of these in previous alphas, but it was way smaller. This is a massive, massive custom build. It's awesome. Okay, but yeah, we don't need any more demon essences or anything, so I'm not going to go for any more demon gates. Basically, at this stage, it's just going to be suicide if we keep going for all of those. And then where the hell... Is Eve. I need to be careful not to drive into something right now. I can't get out of. Like, for example, this POI over here is very dangerous. And <clears throat> all these places over here. Okay, so there's a wasteland. This touches the wasteland, so it means it's going to be really, really dangerous. Army facility of some kind. You can actually see there's a ton of uh, military vehicles and stuff in the vicinity. Okay, so what I need to do is find another road. Could have actually just kept on with the gravel path, like this one over here. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's just keep going over here. I need to make sure we find another road and then perhaps find Eve. If we have Eve, we can buy some stuff from her as well if we really needed to, and then uh, go from there. But guys, I'm almost. Uh, I can actually now go and make the second book for the demonic stuff. 
Uh, but I wonder if I shouldn't wait for, uh, uh, until we can unlock more advanced stuff. At the moment, we have our... Just really get, please don't tell me there's more demons. Uh, at the moment, we have one out of five over here. I could use two skill points to unlock um, the, uh, the next one. Or I can go and use the book. Now, I think I should actually save the book for the next level because the next level is going to cost three points. It's with all these demon gates. There are so many demon gates. You have to be careful. Is that Eve? I think that's Eve in front of us. Yes, that's Eve. The fact that she's so close to town and there's so many demon gates over here really makes me worry. Oh, okay. So as soon as we have radiation protection, we can actually come loot more stuff. For now, though, I just want to talk to Eve and get out of here. That is definitely Eve. It's nice that she's part of the town for some reason. Usually they're not part of town like this. Usually if you need Eve, she's going to be like in the, uh, in the middle of nowhere on a gravel road. So it's kind of awesome that she's just right here. Just please tell me this is actually Eve. Hello. Yep, mutated footballer. Is that bird dead? This dude is causing all the zombies to speed up right now. That's why that lady was so damn fast. I need to be careful. There's going to be so many mutated spiders and stuff in this biome. The fact that she's part of town is really awesome. Usually she's not part of the town at all. What are you looking for? Okay, what do you have? Kind of gunpowder. Please tell me you have the lathe. We we'll just please uh, search for it. Lathe. Nope. And lathe. I should probably kill all the zombies outside so we can focus a little bit over here. What else? UH-60, 192,000 for that vehicle. Damn. Okay, I need to check for books and stuff like that as well right now. Um, I think we don't need any tools. Basically, we just need a lathe. And, and, unless we can actually buy cobble, um, cobble, <laughs> coil guns. If we can buy coil stuff right now, that's going to be so damn awesome. Okay, that seems like it's that's it. There's nothing else over here. Uh, I need to be careful because uh, grenades and stuff do do damage to me right now, so I'm not used to actually taking damage from that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Probably save my cash instead of spending it over here, but I... <laughs> Guys, I'm so lazy to go mining again. Oh, that's way too much. Like, I'm gonna have to range the race, it seems. You're I thought that might be a wandering horde of a Yuma for some kind. Okay, they broke through very fast. I hope she's not mad at me now for accidentally hitting her. You have to be so careful there's no demons coming through right now. My drone needs to move. If I accidentally hit through the drone, it's not going to register. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Gunpowder and stuff. See, I don't want to use up all my coin. We do still have quite a few things we can sell, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to take a chance and then... At least now we have gunpowder. Uh, and some lead. The lead will be able to make more stuff. We need more of this, though. That's why I'm so tempted to buy, but uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Goodbye. Okay, so we have seven minutes left of radiation protection. Let's quickly see how big this town is. Uh, let you actually mark this as Caitlin. Okay, let me just create a nice look at you. Why does it look down every time I talk to her? Like, it looks like a crotch for some reason. Okay, anyways, let's go. Seven minutes of radiation protection left. Need to make sure I don't die right now. We don't really have any bandages left. Oh, I need to see if I can't buy some food from her. Because at the moment, we are very, very, very low on food. It's weird, though, that you can actually eat in this biome, if you think about it. Thank you. It's radiated. How do you eat this? I'm not going to complain though because I need the food like crazy right now. Thanks. I just want to make sure what kind of shape the sound is, how big it is, if it might be worth moving here late game. I, I doubt it though. Oh crap. I sometimes get uh, confused between the like, sh uh, if you click your left button and then you can look around and steer with your keyboard and steering with your mouse. I get so confused between the two. Like now I can look around and all of a sudden I, I forget what to do and I drive into stuff. Come oh, on, there has to be some good loot over here. I wonder if we're going to be able to see a big bunker over here as well. 
if we do, I should probably mark it as soon as possible so we don't know exactly where it is next time. This place is new. Box Films. It's always awesome seeing all these new PRIs. Unfortunately, our game stage is so high right now, most of these are going to be borderline impossible to clear. We have to have so much armor and so much ammo on us just to clear it, and then also all that noise you make from clearing the place is going to cause some screamers. Four minutes of protection left. Come on, John, you can do it. I just mustn't get stuck on something, and we must just quickly go around over here. Cattle station to the right. This town so far looks really cool. Um, it doesn't look that big, surprisingly. Oh, the final stash loot over here. But there's definitely going to be demons on this PI now. I mean, even in the forest biome, the, the sleepers are demons. Like, outside sleepers, not even inside. So you just know if you go for that now, you're going to be screwed. Okay, I need to get away from you. Where am I going right now? Okay, we're almost around this place. Cool. As soon as we have more or less the border of this place done, uh, it's a little bigger than I thought. Ugh. Ah, crap. Vultures, vultures, vultures. Please don't keep bleeding. Just stop bleeding. There you go. I'm just looking for the big bunker. If you know exactly where... To... Well, all we have to do is talk to Caitlin and she'll tell us where the bunker is. Because her quest sends you to the big bunker, but still. If you can find the bunker this way, why not? Also, I should probably... Wait, what your eyes are this? Oh, this place is going to be dangerous. I should probably try and see if I can't do uh, Eve's quest again and do the small tech bunker a few more times. If I can farm or milk the small tech bunker but we'll also have some more laser tech, that's going to be awesome. I just need to do more level 5 dig quests for the traders and scouts and stuff, and that should be enough. Okay, I'm still confused as to which one I'm using to steer. Okay, um, as soon as we turn right over here, we should be able to get out of this place. I need to be careful right now. We can't afford to get stuck on anything or attacked. It seems the power armor helps you with like fire protection, but as soon as you get hit, it takes some serious, serious damage. Okay, this place of here is going to be dangerous as well. This place, look at this. I want to show you guys this. For look at all these feral whites of here. This place is so full of zombies, it's not even funny. And that's only half the place. There's at least like 40 or so uh, of those feral whites of here. As soon as you clear them out, all of a sudden there's more. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not going to take any more chances. We need to get out of here and get back to town. I should be able to get out of the radiated zone by just turning left. I think I should do that right now. I'm just going to go straight for the forest area of here because we only have 41 per sec uh, seconds of protection left. And more gates. Two gates next to each other. Most of the gates are like, uh, they come in pairs of two. Except if there's already two next to each other, the next one's going to be just one. But still, that's a lot of demon gates. Two again. This map has so many. For those of you wondering, this is, I think, the large uh, combo pack map. Number one. There are so many demonic gates over here. It's not even funny. Okay, uh, I'm just going to see. Zoom out all the way. We have... We're going to pass Anna over there. You know, let's just stop by this trader and Anna. And see if one of them doesn't perhaps have a lathe. It should be about 17 to 20k for the lathe, um, so hopefully one of them actually has it. So it's actually a really good thing that we're coming from this side. Guys, I'm just really, really glad we got all those demonic essences. That alone made this trip awesome, even though Caitlyn didn't really have anything. But we found Caitlyn, we found the Wasteland, we found the demonic essences, and that alone is amazing. I think I'm just going to cut away and then catch you guys back as soon as we get to this spot, because it's still 3.6 kilometers away. That's a lot. The nice thing is, as long as I shift click, or shift, uh, click it just now, I can steal with my keyboard and I can use the other arm to drink cold drinks and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys as soon as we get to this Anna. Okay, I need to be careful. This place is actually really, really dangerous. Um, what I think I can do is quickly fill this up a bit. Uh, see if anything can stack, and then just repair. No repair kits, okay. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this place is so full of zombies right now. I haven't been here in a while, and I think I already wrenched, if I'm not mistaken, um, the inside of this place. What is this? That looks kind of interesting, like there might be a stash or something over there. 
Yeah, I think I'm getting a little bit of lag right now, but it's been so long since I've been here, and a ton of zombies are spawning in right now. The traveler? Hello, What's hello. Oh, no, not quest for one. Although her quest is going to be way closer to the um, big bunker than the other one's quest. They might actually even have the same quests, who knows? Okay, lathe. Please, one of you guys must have a lathe for me. If I can make my own weapons. Oh, okay, um, I don't think I should buy anything right now, even though I want to buy a ton of stuff. I shouldn't buy anything just in case I almost have nothing left for the lathe. It's supposed to be under miscellaneous over here. You can see the Taylor workstation. Okay, so this do place doesn't have anything left, right? Was just looking, I'd be as rich as Trader Joel. Good for you. Okay, oh, please don't... Oh, nice, okay, it's right here. And it's in the snow biome, so it's going to be better loot. See, the thing is, we are so encumbered already, I can't really afford to grab a ton of stuff. But at the same time, we need to grab as much as possible right now. Okay, we can break through the front of here or just climb through the roof. If a wandering horde comes by, we should have actually uh, taken some TNT and blown this up. In case a wandering horde passes, we don't have to worry about them being able to access it here. They have to break through the titanium first. Come on. I hate it when you try and climb in a vehicle and it just doesn't want to register. In my Romero um, series that I'm streaming, I died from... It's, it's just walking zombies, but I died from a dog in the wasteland. Because I jumped on my bike and then for some reason the character just jumped off the bike again. And I couldn't interact with the bike and then the dog killed me. But then, then panic sets in and you die easily. Okay, so after I fetch this, we need to go to the other trader. I should probably see if I can't stop by every single trader that we have on the map so far. Because one of them is bound to have a lathe. I swear, if we can just find a bloody lathe. Where... Oh, still falling. Damn. Please, please, please. Damn, yeah, nothing that we really need. Duct tape? There's a ton of duct tape. That's good. We actually need as much duct tape as possible. So that wasn't that bad. Okay, so we're going to go to this trader quickly. And then hopefully he... One of the traders has to have a lathe. Um, I know... Oh, I was in the wasteland. I wanted to dig a little bit, but I forgot... Now that I know where the wasteland is, I can easily just go uh, off camera and dig a little bit there, but I'm gonna have to be careful. With wandering wards and screamers and stuff, if you get stuck in the wasteland, you are screwed. At least now we have the anti-radiation pull, so I don't have to worry too much. But you still have to be really, really careful when you're in that, uh, when that sector, in that biome. I mean, uh, the, the biome alone is way more dangerous than a screamer horde and a wandering horde. Because there's just demons and stuff strolling about. Especially when it turns nighttime. Some of these pure eyes look so fun to loot. It's a shame we couldn't come across one of these places in the wasteland. We might have passed it. I was just so busy. I, I didn't want to stop and pay attention to that. Because if we could have looted one of these uh, buildings, uh, the final stash or more cars in the wasteland, we might have actually been able to get some secret stash or final stash loot that we didn't have beforehand. Okay. Let me just close that behind me. And never be too safe. Well, how'd he do, Fred? How'd he do? Okay, so, uh, lathe. I hope I'm spelling it right. I think so, right? None of these guys have a lathe. They have all the other workstations, but no lathe. So hopefully, when we talk to uh, Jen, she'll have one for us. I could easily buy more. You know, I'm just actually going to sell a ton of stuff. We don't need any of these right now, so I know if you repair them, you get more. But for now, I just want to be able to make sure we get a little bit, uh, just a little bit from this. Peace be with you, my friend. Okay, let's go. I hope the amount of demonic essences I have is enough for all the stuff we need. Unfortunately, I think you need to be uh, like level three out of five with your advanced skill, to advanced technology. You really get all the other stuff. Okay, so there's Eve down there. There should be a trade over there. That's a lead mine. I wonder if I shouldn't try and quickly look for this trader over here. There's bound to be one in the wasteland. Ah, uh, in the desert biome. Oh, 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 before I forget. I can't afford to place a wandering horde with no gas. Okay, so uh, let's go to the wasteland quickly. On the one hand, I want to see if we can't do Eve's quest. I think you should be able to do Eve's quest again, right? Like a continuous loop. Because if we could get another small bunker and get more red notes, that would be awesome. On the same hand, at the same time, we already did the quest. Do I really want to do those quests again? All I need to do is make sure we do as many level 5 dig and fetch quests as possible. 
And then the double rewards from the trader alone will make us strong enough to actually face a few more things. As soon as I can go to the wasteland and mine to my heart's content, we don't have to worry about a thing. What I do probably have to check is where does the wasteland... See, this, this thing goes down, but if it's, is it just the top left corner? Or does it go on the uh, very west of the map all the way down to the bottom? I need to actually drive on the side, but uh, I don't want to map out more of the map. I think next time I can uh, take the map, uh, the vehicle straight left and then up. And then see if we can get the left side of the border. Because I think the wasteland is going to be on just the left side. But I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's just going to be the tip or if it's going to be the whole left side. Damn. If I had the space on me, I'd actually want to loot this place. You can just, as soon as I get close, there's going to be some demons spawning outside of here. Unfortunately, we're almost full over here. My drone is full, my bike's completely full. So if I were to stop right now to check, I, I don't think there's going to be enough space. Trying to see where this damn trade is. Hopefully this is on the other side of this town over here. Um, but yeah, guys, we need that lathe so we can start making coil parts and uh, coil weapon uh, parts and stuff. If I can make myself a coil pistol or uh, an even better coil shotgun or something like that, that's going to help us so much. Unfortunately, I haven't come across any trader yet. Oh, this is a trader. Nice. Just as I said, we haven't come across a trader yet. I need to probably mark this on the map as well. To know exactly where it is. Uh, we already marked Caitlyn, so that's fine. So you save, trader, boom, and then we go look for our lathe. Please, 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 please tell me you have a lathe. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? I never. Please, man. There's no lathe, damn it. Okay, I really thought we might get lucky, but oh, we do still have Jane and stuff. We have to go hand in a quest anyways for, uh, to her. Oh no, we already handed the quest in, we just have to go do more, right? So I think let's go to Jen. We'll see if we can't just get the fuck out of accept here. a new quest from her as well. See, if we were to go down over here, I think that'd be way oh just all the way left. It'd be a wasteland. So what I want to do next is I want to go from my base. Where's my base? Is this mine or oh, that's mine. Uh, we should probably go all the way down and then all the way left and then up to really get the nice feel of how big the map is. Um yeah, there's a lot of traders of here, there still. But I think let's go to this town. There might be a trader. Then we stop at this one, this one. Go up to ours. Because they should have reset by now as well. And then Jen, I need to go hand in that quest by the um, scout. I almost completely forgot Great that the scout you, had a quest. I hate when my drone does that. I so despise when the drone does that. Okay, yeah. Uh, sometimes the zombies can hit you on your bike. I mean, that was fair. He hit me when I just passed him. But sometimes they can actually hit you on your bike when you already pass them, uh, like long past them, or if they haven't even started swinging their arms yet. Ooh, this looks like... This almost looks like a Minecraft um, desert thing. Oh, we don't have the space right now. It's a shame that I'm so full. Uh, it's a shame you can't have two mods following around. Because then I wouldn't be so full, so I can actually go check those things out. If I'm not mistaken, guys, this looks a lot like the POI that you get in Ways UK mod. Are you after me? Um, in Ways UK mod, there's loot over here up top. There's loot over there in that tower, that tower. There. There's four towers usually. And the fourth one's missing for some reason. And then underneath over here, there's supposed to be like a bunker or something. If you dig down right there, there should be like a whole storage section underneath. But we could actually do to see if I'm right. Yeah, there's a whole bunker underneath. Look at it. Oh, there's way bigger than the bunker I remember. This place is even more insane than the Ways UK version. But this place sometimes has zombies respawning and respawning and respawning. If you can get into these towers of here though, they have some really insane loot. But once again, guys, limited time, limited space, can't do it. You actually mark it. This one was radiated in uh, Ways UK. That's how tough this one is. I'm just going to mark it as epic. Or epic wear 3. So I know exactly what PRI this is I'm talking about. So yeah, when we have the space and we have the time, we actually have to come check these PRIs out as well. But I just know there's definitely going to be behemoths, titans, and uh, demons over there. There's no way a PRI that epic will not have all those boss zombies in it. 
Okay, so I took all the stuff. I'm a bike that I want to sell. I even had to, uh, still a stack of cash and stuff that I wanted to sell. I don't know why they haven't sold those yet. Let me just do this. Okay, um, gas can go in there. That can go in there and that can go in here. Okay, so let's talk to this trader. See what he has. Oh, Wandering Wood. That's a massive demolisher. Oh, that's a big demolisher. Big boy. Hello. I need to get you guys away from here, please. Can I get your attention, please? I've learned that thought that demolisher was also like radiated. That would have been bad. And look how fast the spider is. I wonder if there's a um, mutated dude in there as well. That could be a good reason for why they're so damn fast. Okay, um, most of them seem to have gone away. Let's just go this way around. I'm gonna talk to this trader. Imagine after all that this trader actually has what we're looking for. Wait, is that demolisher following me right now? I need to be careful not to get stuck on anything right now when something that big's chasing us. Okay, yep. A little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. There you go. I need to make sure they're actually following me this way. The problem is now those other dudes are fighting that damn NPC, so they're not going to disappear. What you could do is you just drive out of the chunk, and when you go back, the Wandering Ward should be gone. I'm just really going to bypass these zombies and then check out the trader. Okay, there's still a few late ones over here. Let's just quickly clear this out. I just killed one of the demonic zombies that stayed behind. Uh, the bear might be a problem. But other than that, these dudes are easy enough. You can shock them once. They're dead. Please don't tell me there's like a demonic vulture stuck somewhere. You're definitely starting to get way more of these vultures as well. And that's going to be a real problem for us. It seems, I don't know how Kane does it. In his video, there was a wandering horde. He went out of the chunk, came back, it was gone. At least I was just wasn't fully out yet. But with me, I'm basically what I feel is out of the chunk. Oh, come on. Okay, I have to kill her as well. Let's just really vomit. Then we can fight her. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. My drone's in the way, damn it. Wait, did she die? I think she just died. Nice. Okay, that looks like smoke just now. So there's a one, uh, sleeping zombie over there, demon one. Yeah, she... No, oh, she's still here. Wait, what? No, she's just a normal zombie. It's not the demonic zombie that I just saw. Yeah, I just really want to check whether there is a laser here. I imagine we actually get a laser in this bag that she dropped just now. That'd be cool. Nope. Okay. So please don't tell me there's anyone else in here. I say if they broke in and I didn't see them and now I'm dead, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Okay, scrap. We can actually put that on. Ah. All the loot you guys have sucks. Okay, uh, we're just going to want to sell a ton of stuff. Junk baton, steel sledge, stun, iron spear. None of the stuff we really need right now. And then a ton of cash and this. Nice, they level, that even leveled me up. Now, please, please tell me you have a lathe. Oh, yes! Portable lathe. And with that, we can end the episode. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Comment, subs, and feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we finally start making our own weapons. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.